you know somebody that's on high blood pressure medicine? I am, okay. How many of you know somebody that's diabetic? All right, so you will enjoy this session. And let me just say that um, I am the CEO and president of Bryant and Associates, an executive coaching, training, and consulting organization. And I like to stay focused on health. I cannot take care of my customers if I don't focus on my health. And we have a group of panelists who I'm going to introduce one at a time. And I think I'm going to start with traditional medicine, okay? I, I have the right to change my mind. I was going to start with somebody else first because she's going to talk about menopause and male menopause. How many of you have heard of andropause? Okay, that's male menopause, so if, you know, you get your man's acting funny, maybe he has andropause, but I don't know because I really have not thought about andropause because when I went through menopause, that was all I could think about. <laughs> so our first speaker is Dr. Sharon Bent Hartley. She's a medical doctor, board certified physician, who is fellowship trained in anti-aging and regenerative medicine. How many of you are interested in anti-aging? So I think we want to talk to her. She currently serves as a trustee on the Fulton DeKalb Hospital Authority at Grady Memorial Hospital Corporation and the Carrie Steel Pitts Home. She believes in preventive wellness medicine. And I want to say that I believe in both traditional and non-traditional medicine. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you, Dr. Sharon, my new best friend. <laughs> Uh, as mentioned, I'm board certified physician, but I went back and did an entire fellowship training in anti-aging medicine because after doing 30 years of traditional medicine, gynecologic surgery, being up at night, being on call, I started noticing the impact of stress on my body so I can identify with the young lady over here who spoke about that. And the whole thing is people think of anti-aging as a nip talk, fillers, Botox, but really it's about healthy aging and lifestyle changes. And the majority of us do not even know the word andropause. Men are having the same thing women are having, and we don't even know the name for it. Yes, there's a name for male menopause. It's called andropause. And the reason I chose anti-aging, I wanted some form of natural medicine that I could integrate into my medical practice because I have you know, a medical background. One of the biggest things that we'll start noticing uh, with menopause, andropause, we are, in women, we always talk about estrogen. And I'm gonna talk about women for a minute. And that's a big dialogue. In truth and in fact, women actually also produce testosterone. So, and this process starts declining in your 30s in men and women. So you hit the 30s, you're eating the same, you're working out the same, you're going to the gym, doing all the things you're supposed to be doing, but your body is not responding. You hit that plateau, why? You don't have the hormones because your ovaries aren't putting it out. In male, same thing. The testicles aren't putting it out as much as it used to. So because you're losing muscle mass we're, from testosterone loss, we're losing about 8% of our muscle mass each decade of life. This is in men and women. So think about what happens when you lose 8% of your muscle mass each decade of life. Just as I said, you're going to the gym, doing everything right, working out, but you're still getting that little pudge in the middle, midsection because you don't have the muscle mass to burn your body fat. You hit the 40s and 50s, what happens? The cholesterol starts creeping up and your blood pressure starts creeping up. Why? What is cholesterol? It's a fat molecule. You don't have the muscle mass to burn that fat. So these are the things that can happen just from the aging process. So saying it's normal, yes, it, I don't think that should be acceptable because you want to be preventive. So um, in terms of how can we improve some of these things, one of the other areas we can look at is stress on our body. And Essentially, stress is one of those things that, whether it's mild, moderate, or severe, impacts everybody differently. The thing is to acknowledge it. What we have to realize, the lifestyle we live, our body is really not designed for. 
the caveman version of stress thousands of years ago, right? He'd come out of the cave, see a lion, his cortisol, which is a stress hormone, would go up, lion goes away, cortisol comes down. The environment we're in today, whether it's opening emails in the morning, traffic, taking care of the kids, as a young lady over here said, she's working, going to school, I mean, doing a million things. Your body is really not designed for that. So your adrenal gland, the little gland that sits on top of the kidney, eventually that gets burnt out, peaking that cortisol to cope with your stress. And eventually that starts impacting your different organ system, whether it's your kidneys, causing high blood pressure, and all the different factors that are stress associated. These are all things that can be corrected. Bottom line, and I'm going to wrap up now, uh, bottom line is all these things technically are normal, but what we have to remember, and the point I want to get across to everybody this morning, is normal is not necessarily optimal. So for optimal health, and lifestyle changes and optimal aging, we really need to take a look at all these factors because from the anti-aging process uh, uh, prospect, a lot of these areas we can address, treat, and prevent so we can have healthy aging. Thank you. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Dr. Harley is a medical doctor. And it is great to hear a medical doctor talk about those things we know about, those of us who sometimes think I'm tired of doctors, give me somebody else. So I really want to say I appreciate you bringing out stress and the burnout of the adrenal glands because that's real important. And I can say that I'm looking for my muscle mass and maybe that now can explain everything. So it's good that you've explained everything to us and we appreciate your being a role model in this community.